What's up guys? My name is Courtney Budzen and this is What's For Din. With the new year starting, everyone's starting their new healthy diets and I wanted to help you guys out with a delicious healthy recipe. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make vegan buffalo wings. Now we're going to be making them using cauliflower but don't back out of this video just yet because I'm telling you the cauliflower taste is not even there. I personally love cauliflower but for those of you who hate it, just trust me and try this recipe because basically the cauliflower is just a way of transportation to get the sauce into your mouth. <laughs> and also I wanted to make a quick announcement. On select videos, I'm now going to be including the calorie count, the macronutrients, and the Weight Watchers points all in the description of this video to help you guys out so you guys don't have to measure and count and do all that stuff. So I'll be doing all the work for you. So if you guys want all the information, just look in the description box below. And without further ado, let's get started. So this recipe is gonna be really quick, bada bang, bada boom. First thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 450 degrees, and then we're gonna work on our cauliflower and the dredging that we're gonna dip it in. So you wanna go ahead and wash and pat dry your cauliflower really well so it's nice and dry, and then chop it up into wing-like shapes. So you don't want them too big, you don't want them too small. They don't have to be all identical. Sometimes I have smaller pieces, but you want them about this size, and then that would be perfect. So now moving on to what we're gonna dunk them in to make the breading. So I have some almond flour, some almond milk, some water, and then for spices, I have some paprika, salt, pepper, ground cumin, and then some garlic powder and some dried onion flakes. And just give that a good whisk together until there's no lumps. So you want it to be thick, but not too thick because you want it to stick to the cauliflower and bake there. If it's too runny, then it's just gonna drip off and that does no good because then you don't have a coating. So just keep that in mind. If it looks too runny, add a little bit more flour. All right, so before we start dunking our cauliflower in there, you wanna make sure you have your pan ready. Now what I do is I have a big baking sheet, I put some parchment paper down, and then on top of that, we're gonna put an oven safe wire rack down. That way the coating doesn't just pull up on the bottom and then it just peels it all off when we try to flip them. So hands are clean, we're just gonna take one of the cauliflower bits zhuzh it around in there. Make sure you kind of wiggle it around, that way that coating gets in between all the crevices. Just tap off the excess and set it right on your baking sheet. All right, so now we're gonna throw them in a 450 degree oven for about 25 minutes. Now you wanna make sure your oven is really, really hot. If your oven tends to run a little bit below the temperature you set it to, crank it up just a little bit higher because you really want a nice crispy texture on the outside. And you also wanna flip them about halfway through. So I'm gonna throw these in the oven and then we'll move on to making the buffalo sauce. The sauce isn't anything extravagant, but it's super, super good and super easy. So I'm throwing in some vegan butter, bringing my pan up just to a medium heat. Now we're gonna add some hot sauce and some barbecue sauce. Now you can change up the barbecue sauce and hot sauce ratios if you want to. I personally can't handle too much heat, so that's why I do half and half. You don't wanna bring this to a boil or anything, you just wanna make sure it's nice and warm so that when we use it to coat the wings that it's not freezing cold and stops the cooking process of the wings. So once it's nice and warm, you can put a lid on it and then just set it aside until the wings are ready to go. So basically I just take some of the vegan wings, put it in the pan with the sauce, toss it around a few times and place it right back onto the baking sheet. And then once you have them all done, we can go ahead and throw them right back into the 450 degree oven for about another 15 to 20 minutes or until that sauce seeps in and they're nice and crispy. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. So here is the beautiful final product. I cannot wait to dive in because these things smell intoxicating. So let's do this. You know I gotta dip it in some ranch, okay? Just a little bit. A little bit ain't gonna hurt ya. Oh my goodness. The flavor is spot on. This definitely has a lot of heat to it, so if you can't handle a lot of heat, definitely dial back the hot sauce and amp up the barbecue sauce, that way your face doesn't catch on fire. <coughs> you know you want a bite of that. I don't know what to tell you if you don't. <laughs> so like I said before, I'm gonna be putting the calorie count, the macronutrient count, and the Weight Watchers points all below in the description box for those of you who are on a diet. I will be sharing some Whole30 recipes coming up soon, so I hope you guys stay tuned for some more healthy recipes. And if you do wanna recreate this recipe, just look below in the description box. I'll have all the measurements as well as the written instructions. And if you did like this video, don't forget to smack that like button as well as turn on the little bell notification so that you get notified every single time I upload a video. So as always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and we'll see you next time. Bye.